Welcome back to the SCRS booth. Aaron Schulenberg, Executive Director of SCRS. I'm joined here by John Eck with GM. He's the manager of the Collision Wholesale business. And uh, John, thanks for joining us. Um, you, this has been a crazy show. I know it's not your booth, but the Chevrolet booth down there, it's just its just amazing uh, what GM puts out at this show. Yeah, it's a dynamite display. We've got a lot of things going on over there, the Chevrolet Performance booth, lots of concept vehicles, lots of stuff around the performance and the racing aspect that we love. Of course, the new uh, 26 16 Copo Camaro, all new release Copo and the, the, the new Camaro body. Uh, great energy. Encourage everybody out there to go check it out and everything we've got going on. Yeah. So uh, GM's been they've been supporting our education programs here at the SEMA show for a number of years and I know that's always been a priority for you and it's, and for your company really what is it about being involved in programs like repair driven education that's so important to an automaker like yours well technology is changing so quickly in the vehicles and you got to keep up with that new technology whether it be joining methods or even the mechanical side and in order to do that you've got to be out there in the forefront educating the technicians and the body shops uh, on how to repair those vehicles so that the vehicles are repaired back to a pre-crash condition and, and safely and all of that. So it's a big influence uh, for us and a really important priority uh, to help educate the young technicians and even keep training in the learning culture um, with the technicians that are out there for quite a while. Yeah, so that's that's a really interesting point because it's not just about those entering the trade. Uh, with today's vehicle evolutions, it doesn't matter how long you've been fixing cars, you need to stay at the forefront of what's going on with education because there's no way to fix a car today based on yesterday's methodology. That's absolutely correct. I mean, look at our new CT6 with the aluminum. You've got, uh, you know, the glue, the riveting, uh, very little welding, which is traditional what you might see in the sedans, but now the structures are changing so drastically that... Uh, it, technicians that have been in the business for a while have to learn those new methods. So what's exciting is uh, on Thursday we have our OEM Collision Repair Technology Summit. You guys are obviously a supporter of that as well. Um, and we have, uh, I think, two of your engineers who are going to be speaking on both the steel and aluminum panels, partially because that new CT6 has a mixture of both. Um, but you obviously do a lot of innovative things with steel design as well. We do. Uh, steel is still a big important aspect of the vehicle, especially with the AB pillar rocker and around the cabin for passenger safety. So we're increasing our knowledge on how to use that ultra high strength and high strength steel. Uh, big influencer of uh, still within the vehicle and uh, a lot's changing in that space as well. And we're happy to have our engineers uh, share what we know from General Motors and make that uh, common knowledge to the, to the repair industry because we want them to utilize that uh, uh, engineer driven news. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'll say just from my own personal experience, I'm looking forward to that conversation. I know I've been on some of the pre-planning calls and just uh, the, the chemistry and the, and the information that these guys have to offer is, is second to none. So let's switch gears for a minute. Last year, we were here at the SEMA show. We actually had a great conversation a bit about um, about my price link, and you had launched it at the SEMA show, and then uh, put pause on that for a minute. And I know we had had some conversations uh, during the show last year. T talk a little bit about what happened in, in that process and where we are today. Well, again, the, the whole point of my price link was for General Motors to get a control of their data uh, and, and better control that, as well as uh, be more more relevant to the repair process with pricing uh, and, and it's a different way of delivering list price we're not doing away with list price it's a way of delivering it last year we came out with a delivery method that uh, was very disruptive to the workflow at the body shop level you were great in helping us uh, understand that um, and so we listened to the industry uh, they gave us a lot of feedback very quickly during this week last year and we listened to them and we we stopped we put it on pause uh, because the industry came back and said we think we can help you we understand your objective that was easy and we and we think it's good we, we have no problems with the industry or, or the objectives that you had what they uh, had the issues was with the workflow and the timing of that and they thought they could help us improve that so we took advantage of that we we collaborated with uh, the collision estimating systems the dealer DMS systems we talked to body shops at all all levels uh, your group was great in helping uh, get us information we talked to the insurance community about their workflows as well and so we went on pause to uh, do the collaboration and we came up with a fully integrated solution uh, that we're very happy is working uh, since July when we started piloting uh, where the, the body shop workflow does not change. It's fully integrated in the collision estimating system. Uh, during the pilot, all three, Mitchell, CCC, and Auto Explorer, the pilots are working. Uh, the integration on the dealer side, because that's a very important process in the, in the workflow, the procurement and the invoicing for the body shop. 
So we've got full integration uh, on the DMS side, and we're working through all the DMS um, companies to get that integration for that workflow as well. And we're happy that it's all working, and we're going to be able to go live on December 1st with a very uh, streamlined and fully integrated collaborative uh, workflow that's going to work for everybody. So I know that you have spent some time recently visiting some of our state associations uh, in, in uh, different areas of the country, talking to uh, our members and their members about what's going on with this change. What's been some of the feedback and reception that you've had after you've had a chance to kind of give them a better explanation of what, what my price link is and how it works? Yeah, the, the reaction has it's been what we expect. Oh, that's it? <laughs> because it does integrate fully into their existing workflow where they, they go in and write their estimate as they have been doing all along and the pop the prices are being populated uh, based upon the estimate that they're writing. So they're very ecstatic uh, and very happy that we've found that solution that integrates into their workflow um, and, and they understand it and it's really like, okay, I got it. Uh, and then they move on with their with their workflow and, and with their normal business. So I think your guys' redevelopment of the process after last year and listening to some of that feedback is a, is a, it's a key example of why uh, associations uh, like SCRS matter so much to be the voice of the independent repair. So we can have those conversations and uh, and and making sure that um, independent repairs' voices are heard and uh, and are considered in part of that process. It's also a good example of the networking potential that a show like SEMA provides when we're all in the same space and we can kind of get down into those detailed conversations. There's tons of stuff happening here at SEMA. It's so much more than just what happens on the trade show floors. Uh, there's the education, there's the networking, and there's a lot of good development going on. Make sure you're here. Uh, come check out um, uh, the, the SCRS booth, the Chevrolet booth, and uh, make sure you're there for the OEM Summit to hear the, uh, uh, the GM engineers talk a little bit about the advanced technology in their vehicle. John, I want to thank you uh, for your support thank and for you. GM support. Appreciate, appreciate all you're doing for us and for helping us through uh, some of the learning processes and anything we do to help and uh, the, the network is great. We'll see you back later at SEMA 2015.